Hello, it's Paul with Logix Magazine, where we help you go from self-taught beginner to automation professional. And today we're going to talk about the Point IO distributed hardware. We've got a great little app, some great resources for you to learn more about this uh, particular hardware. So let's go ahead and jump right in. What we've done is we built a, a great little app for you. And you'll have access to this at Logix Magazine. Dot com. But for right now, let's go ahead and dive into this app. Okay, so when you open up the app, hit the link, the link for it. You open up the app and you'll start right here. And all you got to do is it says right here, we want to welcome you to the uh, Logix Workshop Interactive Training App. To navigate through this app, just click the next button at the bottom of the screen. All right, we're going to hit that next button. All right, so now as you're inside the app, we have these navigational guided tour arrows which will walk you through this app so right here it identifies what this hardware is and then these arrows point to specific spots on this hardware so right here now we're talking it's moved that arrows moved and we're looking at the network address thumb wheel and we go into great detail as to what that means and how to use it all right, then we'll go ahead and move to the next piece of the hardware that we want to identify, and that's the Ethernet Network RJ45 uh, connector, and we talk about that particular part of the hardware. Then we move into setting network address, and we go into great detail, step by step, exactly how to do that. And then we move into the indicator lights, so the module status indicator light, and we identify that below is the list of the indicator colors and their meaning. So in this indicator light, we have a, we, it may have be totally off. There may not be any indication here at all, as is in this example. But it also may be a flashing green, which is an LED power-up test, a module self-test. If it's a green, solid green, there'll be uh, devices operating normally. A flashing red means there's a recoverable fault. A solid red is an unrecoverable fault. And we identify things that you should do and, and look at if any of these uh, lights or these indicators show these conditions. Flashing red green is a module self-test. Then we move on to the next network activity. We again identify what the indicators for that light would be. We go to network status. We again identify what those indicating lights and colors mean, point IO status, point bus status, system power, field power here. If it's off, it's not active, the power is off. Or if it's green, power on and 24 volt are is present. We identify a couple of the modules here. Allen Bradley 1734OB8S, and we talk about that particular module. Then we go into the indicator lights again for each um, of these modules for each of these indicators on these modules, network status, power, etc. And we just walk you through here. We when we come jump down into the wiring, we have the wiring configuration for a single and dual channel. All right. We also have the removable terminal block handle. Talk about how to remove those modules and the summary. Now the great thing about the summary is we have an in-depth uh, a link to an in-depth uh, user's manual for the um, safety uh, guard modules, uh, the guard IO safety modules, and it's a very in-depth manual put out by Rockwell. We've got that link right there for you, so you can't go wrong uh, with that, all right? All right, the other thing we have here is a really awesome, great resource, and that is our, our uh, friend uh, over at Solace PLC. He's got a an awesome training course on the Point IO hardware and software integration using RSOSIX and Studio 5000. So this is a great resource right here. He's got nine lessons, an hour and 41 minutes. Um, it's an intermediate level. He walks you through the introduction, the hardware overview, IO modules, addressing, server and power supply, and you see exactly. He's got a Point IO practical exercise. So you're going to be set. In addition to that, I'm going to give you even more awesome resources. And that is, if you have any questions um, regarding anything in PLC programming, feel free to reach out to me. I can be reached at info at logicsmagazine.com. 
Or if you're going to take the Point IO course, by all means, Vlad's an expert, a world-class expert. This guy will help you in anything, um, PLC programming, Alan Bradley uh, platform. You'll be able to ask him any of the questions, in particular anything related to the Point IO. So I highly encourage you to sign up for his course. Go ahead and shoot Vlad any questions that you might have. Um, and he'll be able to help you answer them. He goes into great detail in this course. I've taken it myself. So um, it, one of the awesome things that Vlad offers is a free, I think I believe it's a seven-day free access to his training resources. Now, if that's not enough, we have um, another awesome resource. If I can get the... Uh, address down correctly but we have another awesome resource um, that if you need the software um, I recommend you go over to my friend myplctraining.com and sign up for Stephen's course there you can go ahead and take his uh, his course as well and get access to Alan Bradley uh, software to include Studio 5000. So, my friends, what I'm telling you is there's no reason why you should not um, be able to be successful in learning everything you know, you need to know regarding uh, Point IO. All right. So, again, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Um, and if there's at any time there's any questions you have, go ahead and reach out to me. Go ahead and put any comments you have down below. Any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I'd love to help you. So until next time, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Hey, keep programming, my friends.